Howdy, howdy, and welcome back to Gale FFTCG. I'm Corbin, and in our set review of my four favorite cards, one in each rarity, common, rare, heroic, and legendary, we are on to Lightning. And to kick things off, we've got you in 1CP. This video is going to be really quick, simply because there's... I'll, this this is the element that brings back old archetypes and just m means you're going to want to troll through your, like, jank collection just to get good stuff. So, Ewan, 1CP, Nightfall, FFTA2. It is a forward, which is relevant because it means you can search for it off the state of Clan Goalie. When Ewan enters the field, you choose one damage forward, you break it. So, if you were playing, like, a Lightning Wind Cactar kind of list, this card immediately goes in that. Nothing more to say here. It's awesome. Probably one of the best commons in the set. Up next, we have Ramu, Lord of Levin, or Arlol, um, as, a, as me and my friends call it. So, 5 CP, 9K, Primal, Category 14. This is one of my favorite um, rares in this set. Garuda is a close second, but this one is insane. So many build opportunities. This is a build round card, easy. If you have two or more lightning summons in your break zone, Ramu gains haste, and... When Ramu, Lord of Levin, or your Lightning Summon deals damage to a forward, you break it. Seems pretty decent, so basically it has effectively like a death touchy type of thing, for those of you who've played Magic. Except that, it also gives death touch to all of your summons. And there is a summon that kind of flew under the radar a way back when it saw a little bit of play in, I want to say, Opus like 9 or 10 um, no, was it Opus 11? What, whatever Opus Barthandalus came out in. And it's Raiden Revenant Wings, which deals 1k across the board to all active forwards, and you draw a card. Except that, with Ramu, you literally wipe their entire board for negative 1 CP. It's insane. So, yeah, there's Ramu Lord of Levin. It very well could get Raiden Revenant Wings Band, or maybe this gets an errata. I don't know, but it's it's busted. Just take my word for it. Awesome card. I am so glad that Lightning has some really insanely cool stuff to go mono Lightning again, like and rebuild those kind of older decks that have that t style play. Can really see Ramu being in a control list, and I'm very excited for that. In our heroic slot is Rosh, and Rosh represents a, just the most aggro of aggro of aggro. Category seven soldier is relevant. 2 CP, it has haste, and if you don't control any characters, the cost required to cast Rosh is reduced by 2. Damage 3, Rosh gains plus 3 EK. It's a 4K base forward, so it can be a 7 at damage 3. If you don't control any characters, the cost required to cast Rosh is reduced by 2. Basically, this is a turn 1 just point of damage, basically is what it is. It's not good for anything else past a certain point. The damage 3 makes it a little bit relevant, so it can maybe do something later in the game, but it ain't all that great. Honestly, I really like this card just because of... It just screams aggro at me. It's not a build-around card. It's just funny. And I like funny cards. I like cards that are just like, Wee! This thing does a thing! And then it hits. And it's like, okay, cool. Does it do anything for the rest of the game? No, it doesn't have to. It's like a it's a glorified blocker now. But it's just fun. And, and fun cards, you know, this game is about having fun. And, unfortunately, we only got one Lightning Legend. Um, I know, obviously, we got, like, Lightning Ice, multi-element, but I'm not going to do the multi-element ones yet. Um, I think that those warrant another video all to themselves. So, in our Legend spot, we have Ravana, Savior of the Nath. Ravana can attack four times in each turn, um, which is pretty cool. But, unfortunately, it cannot gain Brave. So... This seems like a bit of a non-bow. It's like, cool, I have this card that attacks four times, wah, 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 and it's really awesome. But then it doesn't have Brave, so it can't swing four times. It swings once, and then can't do anything else. Lucky for us, we do have a few interesting abilities that we can do. So, Rav if Ravana, Savior of the Nath, is dealt damage, it reduces that damage by 5k. So that's pretty cool. Is It means your opponent decides your opponent decides to block, it doesn't immediately kill Ravana on site. I like that. And when a character is put from the field into the break zone, you activate Ravana, Savior of the Nath. That is 
either yours or your opponents. So that is important. But what you can do is obviously there are a lot of like instant speed stuff. Sack this, gain, make it gain brave. Sack this, this thing can't block. Blah 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 blah. So there are ways of making Ravana swing multiple times. So it's it's a fun card and it's certainly a build around card which I do enjoy. But I feel like Lightning got a little bit shafted in terms of where, of in terms of what its legends could do. Maybe this card is actually a lot better than I'm giving it credit for. But this is just an initial off the cuff. I don't particularly like this card too much. But it's, you know, it's the only legend, and I thought it was worth talking about, certainly. I will be trying to build a deck about it, certainly. But yeah, that is all for this video. If you like what you see, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what cards you're kind of hyped for in this coming opus, because there are a lot of really interesting cards and a lot of cool cards. But yeah, have a good day.